America doesn't torture. And I'm going to make sure that we don't torture. On this day, we gather because we have chosen hope over fear. We reject as false the choice between our safety and our ideals. Yes, we can. President Obama came in on the back of a lot of excitement and expectation. And I would say he has done well on closure and disclosure. He announced the closure of Guantanamo within 48 hours of taking office. And he has made considerable disclosure of the practices of torture and ill-treatment that had continued in the past. He has denounced the use of torture. However, true closure will only come when there is full independent investigation and prosecution so that the victims can have justice. The only thing that was constant and we were agreeing on it was the increase والإهانة والإحطاط والانحطاط للكرام. It's the treatment. It's uh, actually it's a torture by psychology, like they control. I stay six months without sunlight. When Barack Obama was elected president of the USA in November 2008, Amnesty International asked him to take concrete steps in his first 100 days to end human rights violations in the context of counter-terrorism. These were to close Guantanamo and end illegal detention, eradicate torture and other ill-treatment, and end impunity for human rights violations. الجنود سوى بالتعرض لكرامتنا أو بالضرب أو بالإزعاج أو بمنعنا من النوم أو بالتجويع أو بالتعذيب النفسي في إهانة القرآن ومنعنا من أداء الصلوات وأيضا الاستهزاء بالأذان President Obama has said that some of the acts committed by U.S. personnel in the so-called war on terror have amounted to torture, uh, most famously waterboarding or simulated drowning. More than that, President Obama has um, ordered that so-called enhanced interrogation techniques should be outlawed. They cannot be used by U.S. personnel. This is a major step forward uh, in the fight against torture. However, on ensuring accountability for these violations, the administration's record is mixed at best and uh, disappointing at worst. And every week we got a rake. It means go to the outside rake yard. They call us a rake. But, and the sunlight. But our time, is, uh, they give it to us at night. So I stay six months without sunlight. And you know the sunlight is so important for the skinny. And you see my skinny now, this is I get it in Camp 5. One thing we must remember is that these policies have shattered people's lives. There are, there are victims, and these victims deserve access to, to justice. We hope that President Obama will now turn to some of the remaining tough questions. Bagram, what's going to happen there? Is Bagram going to be the next Guantanamo? We hope that he will open up truly the file on what has actually happened in terms of encouraging an independent investigation. And we hope that he will end impunity by bringing prosecutions 